More YouTubers. I want to do a shout out for John Parker. He's helped me solve some of my issues um, in his videos. Namely the soil packing down. It says that the uh, stuff here this when you can get compost this way. It's you know, it doesn't have any water in it, no moisture. So when you put that into your trays, it sucks in all the water that you put down and it turns into a block. Which is what I was having. And then the seeds won't actually pop. So, uh, I mean, I got some of this thinking that I could mix the two, but I, just, I need to... He said to just soak it down with water so it makes it very, very damp and then work with it from that. Which explains the uh, the wonder soil. The wonder soil will uh, you have to reconstitute with water so it's all fluffy when, when you plant it and it stays fluffy through the whole growth cycle. So that was less like a cool. So I came in here today and uh, check this out up here. It's doing what it's supposed to be doing. So when you when you plant your your seeds for microgreens at least I do the same thing probably for other stuff is you invert your tray on top of the soil bed and then as it grows it pushes your tray up so see this tray is now at surface where it's going to start letting light in and see how they're all like there and by putting the tray on top like this it has the um, will have a stronger root and a shoot will be stronger instead of the real stringy ones like those <laughs> those useless things that uh... because they these won't these have been here for like four weeks and they haven't produced their true leaves yet uh... basil um, so so see up here see that they're pushing the tray up. So now, now it's time to invert the tray. So it goes on there like this. Back on top. See, so it's tight. And then as it grows, see, it pushes it up. So over here, see that? Now they're pushing it up. And once they push it up to that point, it's time to uncover it. Just like that. And now these will green up in a day or two and then it'll be time for harvest. So you don't want to let these go up too tall because they will uh, get too leggy and too chewy. So that is that's really exciting. Um, it's nice to see that they're doing what they're supposed to do. Um, because of that soil issue, I was trying out one of these these type of trays, and not the whole tray has sprouted. It's probably pretty much the same reason. The soil's probably kind of packed. It doesn't feel like it. What I also did is I mixed more vermiculite with the compost. Uh, that might be an issue too. Um, but now that I have the solution, I'll probably go back to the regular tray. And uh, see how that works. So, found a cat sleeping in one of my trays this morning. Needs to say he's his name might be going up on Craigslist if so anyone wants a cat. <laughs> Can't have them destroying my crops. <laughs> yeah. Ta ta.